Hello, Ms. Rinava. Hello. First, uh, could you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Atsushi Inaba. I am the professor of the University of Tokyo, and I am an expert of the life cycle, uh, no, life cycle assessment and also uh, carbon footprint in Japan. Mr. Inaba, why did you come to the summit? Uh, <coughs> sorry. I would like to uh, introduce the Japanese activity on the carbon footprint uh, to the people in the Europe. Japan has already a lot of experience. Do you think? Uh, Sorry, do you think uh, Europe can uh, learn from Japan? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, exactly, you know, uh, in my presentation, I in introduced a Japanese activity, and in December, uh, 30 companies joined our uh, trial project, and then uh, they uh, showed the, their uh, carbon footprint of their product, and after that, uh, some company put their product into the market with the carbon footprint. That means, you know, uh, following the United Kingdom and France, you know, we, uh, Japan is uh, right now the third country, you know, uh, to put the uh, product uh, in the market uh, with the carbon footprint. So in that sense, you know, uh, European p uh, country, especially the United Kingdom and the French, are uh, leading, you know, lead the, this uh, activity. And our, uh, in Japan, Japan uh, uh, catch up that activity right now. So that is my opinion. Um, why do you think is product carbon footprint or carbon footprint of products relevant? Oh, that is a good question, but uh, I would like to uh, introduce this one to the consumers. You know? The consumer have to know the, what is uh, uh, where the CO2, uh, you know, greenhouse gas emitted, you know, of the product. And in my opinion, this is uh, a you know, this is a program on the uh, sustainable uh, consumption and production. So from the production side and from the consumer side, both sides, you know, we have to uh, do uh, something to reduce the uh, uh, greenhouse gas, you know. That is my opinion. So uh, carbon footprint is a very good tool to uh, show the uh, quantity of the uh, greenhouse gas to the consumers and also the process, uh, producers. That is my opinion. In today's globalized world, it's very important to find an uh, international standard. What do you think are the next steps towards such an international standardized way of measuring carbon? Uh, also, I am an expert of the MIRA committee, a Japanese MIRA committee of the ISO standard. And then, you know, uh, most important things, uh, we have to disseminate the importance of the carbon footprint to the developing countries, you know. So, in the developed countries, developed Country, uh, many people know the importance of the uh, carbon footprint or uh, this kind of tools. However, still, you know, in the developing countries, uh, people say, "What is the carbon footprint? You know, what is uh, how? Why this uh, this is uh, important for us? You know, so that is the dissemination of the uh, carbon footprint uh, methodology or uh, knowledge of the life cycle assessment is uh, very much important. I think." Well, this is a further step uh, we have to talk about, certainly. I hope uh, we will reach soon this level, and I thank you for this interview. Yeah, thank you very much for your uh, interview to me. Okay, thank you. <laughs>